Hey, what's up, you guys? Notice anything different about me? No, this is not a new shirt. Um, but my hair looked really crazy this morning when I woke up. It looks even crazier in real life. But um, I just decided, you know what? I'll just record my video like this so you guys can see me like this. So yeah, enjoy the view. And I guess I'll just get to the books I got this week um, because there are a lot. And the last time, this is my second time trying to record this video. The first time, it way too long. And I didn't even get to the ebooks yet. So let's get going. From Ooligan Press, I got an arc of Blue Thread by Ruth Tenzer Feldman. And it's a historical fiction. From Balzer and Bray, I got an arc of Glimmer by Phoebe Kittenidis. And this is the second arc I've gotten of this book, so that's cool. Um, I, gave the sec I gave the first one away already, so. Now I have a copy to read. Um, and then from Harper Collins, I got An Arc of the Calling by Kelly Armstrong, which is the second book in the Darkness Rising series. And the first book, the ending was just crazy, so I'll read this as soon as I can to find out what happens next. And then from uh, St. Martin's Griffin, I got a finished copy of Destiny and Deception by Shannon Delaney, which is the fourth book in the 13 to Life series. I've only read the first two. But I'll try to get to the third and fourth as soon as I can. And then this one, I don't know whose idea this was to send this to me. I don't know if it's a joke. It's not a joke, probably. But yeah, I got Give It To Me by Sean Wolf, which is a collection of erotic gay stories. So not really my thing, but I'm sure someone out there would enjoy it. So I'll find a home for that. Um, and then... From Simon & Schuster, I got The Alchemy of Forever by Avery Williams, and it's the first book in the Incarnation series, and I got a hardcover, so that's really cool. And then from Catherine Stein, I got a copy of Fireseed 1, and it's signed by her. And this book actually has a story to go with it. Um, she submitted this book to Entangled Publishing, who I interned for, and um, they didn't accept it, but I read it when she submitted it, and I really liked it, and now she chose to self-publish it, and it's already gotten great praise. It has blurbs from Amy Kathleen Ryan, Carolyn McCullough, um, Amy Kathleen Ryan wrote Glow, Carolyn Macula, I can't pronounce that, wrote Once a Witch, so yeah, um, and this one has illustrations throughout it, <clears throat> and it's a really science fiction-y book, and I don't usually like science fiction, but um, I actually did enjoy this one, so that's good. Um, yeah, so go pick this up. And those are all the books I got for review this week, but Rachel from the blog Fiction, we did a trade, and I got three books from her this week, <clears throat> all hardcover. The first one is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and it's signed. Um, there's no, like, Hankler fish or anything cool, but Green Squiggle. And this book, I've heard Instant Classic in one review. I've heard the only book to ever make me cry. So I'm really excited to read this one. Um, I've read Paper Towns by him, and that's it. So I think before I read this, I'm going to go back and read his first four books in the order they were published. So I can really appreciate this one more. So, yeah, um, definitely pick this up, though, because John's awesome. Um, and then, from Rachel, I got Triangles by Ellen Hopkins, which is her first book for adults. And, um, yeah, it's a lot taller than the rest of her books, but it's not as thick, so I don't know if it's the same length. But, um, yeah, I've only read Crank by her, and it was one of my favorite books last year, um... But, yeah, now I have Triangles and a bunch of her other books, so I'll try to get to this as soon as I can. The cover is, like, really cool to find. It has, like, a cool texture. But, yeah, Triangles. And finally, from Rachel, I got a hardcover of Graceling by Kristen Cashore, and it's uh, the first book in the Seven Kingdoms trilogy. Um, and I have the paperback, but I just wanted the hardcover so it can match my copy of Fire. And my copy of Bitter Blue, which I'm getting when it comes out. I haven't read any of them yet, but they're supposed to be awesome, so. And then from uh, Erica from the blog The Bookseller, I got a hardcover of 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. 
Haven't read this yet, but it's supposed to be amazing, and why not? And then from Rachel from the blog Paper Cuts, I got a hardcover of Behemoth by Scott Westerfeld, the second book in the Levathon trilogy, and it's hardcover, so it matches my copy of Leviathan, so that's cool. And then I bought five books this week from money I got for Christmas. The first one is This Dark Endeavor by Kenneth Opal. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed because the copy or the edition I ordered off Barnes & Noble um, had a different cover than this one. It had the new cover, but the one I got has the old cover. So that's annoying, of course. Um, I wanted the new cover so it would match the second book when it comes out. But, uh, whatever. Um, and then I bought Faking Faith by Julie Bloss. Um, a short contemporary book, a uh, junior library guild selection, so it's bound to be good. And, yeah. And then I bought Reckoning by Lily St. Crow. And it's the fifth and final book in the Strange Angels series. I have not read any of them yet, but I do have all five. So, um... Yeah. And then I bought 20 Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler, which is a contemporary book. It's supposed to be really good. Uh, oops. And yeah, so I bought it. And then the final book I got this week, or the final book I bought this week, and the final physical book I have to show you is 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. And it's a, it's supposed to be a really fun contemporary book. And it travels across Europe, and yeah, so the new cover is really awesome. So those are all the physical books I got this week, but I did get a lot of ebooks, so definitely go check those out. Um, keep watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.